So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video. This week my video is all about the ribbon in Excel. I will show you the most used functions in the ribbon and also how to adjust the ribbon with your own personal top and how to adjust the quick access toolbar. So please enjoy the video. So in this video we are talking about the ribbon in Excel. And um, the first thing I want to show you is the ribbon itself. It's on the top of your Excel uh, application. It has some uh, tops here and uh, all tops have different uh, options, settings and applications. So the home top is the top you will use the most. Um, the most used options are on this tab so you can uh, change the font or the alignment of your text, the formatting of your cells, um, all things you might uh, use a lot. So there are also other tabs like the insert tab where you can um, add uh, insert charts in your uh, Excel or uh, pictures, icons, shapes. That's all on the insert tab. The draw tab uh, makes you uh, able to draw things on your Excel sheet to highlight things or other things to do. Your Page layout tab is the uh, basically about the layout of your page. So you can set the print area, the margins, uh, themes and colors. Um, set the background. Um, the next tab is the formulas tab. You can uh, insert um, a lot of formulas uh, in this way. Also your name manager is on this tab. Also an uh, um, important thing on your Excel sheet. Um, and the calculation options are here. The next tab is the data tab. You can set up um, a data connections with other uh, Excel sheets or other applications here. You can make queries. Um, you can also um, choose your data validations. Also a uh, lot uh, used action in Excel. Uh, you also have your review tab where you can, uh, for example, protect your sheet or protect your workbook and insert comments on uh, things in your Excel workbook. Um, the next tab is your view tab. You can uh, zoom your Excel sheet and you can uh, show or hide your formula bar, your headings and your grid lines. Uh, the next thing is the developer tab. Uh, good to notice is that this top is uh, st standard, um, not visible. You need to uh, make it visible yourself, but we will look at that uh, a little later in this video. Here you can use, uh, for example, uh, Visual Basic. Uh, you can um, execute macros, uh, record macros in your sheet, or um, you can manage your add-ins. And of course, there's the Help tab when you need some help with Excel. Well, now we're gonna take a look at how to adjust this uh, ribbon. Well, everywhere in the ribbon, you can uh, click on your right mouse key and you get this menu. You can say, customize the ribbon. You can also collapse it. It's not visible anymore. And when you click on a top, it will be uh, in your screen again. And you can click this little uh, pin so it will be um, in your screen um, uh, permanent. Like I said, you can click everywhere in your ribbon with your right mouse key and you can click customize the ribbon. Well, then we get this uh, menu. It's basically the Excel options menu, but it goes directly to your customize ribbon top here. Well, I will explain this menu to you. Um, you need to know that on the right side, your actual ribbon is seen. Yeah, you see all the uh, tops here, your home top, the insert, draw, page layout, formulas, and so on. You see them here. You can click them open to see what's on this ribbon. You see the uh, sub tops here, and you can click them open to see all the buttons there are on that um, top. Well, you can add a, a new group here for example, and you can place uh, buttons on that group uh, yourself. So basically you can um, design your own top in the ribbon. 
And um, first I want to say to you that on the left side, here are all the options the, that you can add on your um, ribbon. So all the um, buttons. Well, it says here popular comments. So these are the most popular comments, but you can also uh, say all comments. And that's a very, very long list of buttons you can add to your ribbon. You can also uh, find your macros here when you want to um, uh, execute a macro with a button on the ribbon. Uh, most used by uh, when you make add-ins. Um, but now we are first going to make a new top on the ribbon ourselves. So we can click here, new top. We just created it here. We can rename it. Just select it and click rename. So now I can say um, my own top. Click OK and I made my own top. Here, there's one new group, standard when you add a new group. And we can also rename this group. And I can rename it by typing, for example, handy buttons. I can also give it a uh, picture symbol. And now I made my own group in my own top. I can add buttons to it. So I can, for example, look up the buttons on the left side. When you can't find your button, always check if you have select all comments. But uh, so then you can find all the uh, available options. But now I'm going for popular comments and I, uh, for example, want the email button on my uh, new top. So I can just select email and click add. Um, let's say I want uh, the conditional formatting uh, on my top. I can click add and it's on my top. I can say uh, my macros. I want it on my new top and um, my name manager. So now I added four buttons on my new uh, created uh, on top in the uh, group handy buttons. And now I can just click OK. And you see on the uh, ribbon, there's a new tab, my own tab. And you see all the buttons here, which I just added to my new tab. So this is a great way to uh, customize your ribbon and uh, make it personal for you. You can place every uh, option and button, uh, which you will use a lot on your ribbon. So another thing, and that's the last thing I want to uh, explain to you, is that you can also right click in your ribbon, uh, click customize the ribbon, and click on the access, a quick access toolbar. So this is basically the toolbar, which you, I will click cancel, I can show you. This toolbar here, it has also already uh, have some buttons here. Uh, this is the quick access toolbar. And this toolbar you can also adjust by yourself. Just click right in the ribbon, click customize the ribbon and select the quick access toolbar on the left. So this works basically the same on the right. You see your uh, actual quick access toolbar and on the left all the options are shown. Again, popular comments, macros. You can also um, select every other uh, category. So uh, all comments also, but I'm going for the popular comments and I want, uh, for example, my email button on the quick access toolbar, my font size I want on the quick access toolbar, calculate now button. And so now I um, added three buttons on my quick access toolbar. So now when I click OK, we can check and there are three buttons on my quick access toolbar. So the big advantage of this quick access toolbar is that it's always shown on screen. You don't need to uh, select a top first to look for your uh, option, your button, but they are always on screen. So you can uh, access them very fast. For example, when you need to email a sheet a lot of times and you need a button a lot of times, you can 
place it on your quick access toolbar and you can email a sheet uh, very fast. So that's all the things I wanted to explain to you on the ribbon. Well, thanks for watching this week's video about the ribbon in Excel. I hope you will see the advantages of creating your own personal top on the ribbon. And please don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed watching. And if you did so, you can also consider subscribing.